And question number 17, it says PQR be non-zero real numbers that are respectively 10th, 100th and 1000th term of a HP. 1 upon P, 1 upon Q and 1 upon R are 10th, 100th and 1000th term of an AP. So we'll write 1 upon P as sum A plus 90, 1 upon Q as A plus 99D and 1 upon R as A plus 999D. Now we are given three equations. Now this is x plus y plus z equals 1. This is 10x plus 100y plus 1000z equals 0. And here we will divide everything with PQR. So it will be 1 upon Px plus 1 upon Qy plus 1 upon R z equals 0. Now we write 1 upon P as A plus 90. So it will be this A plus 90x A plus 99dy and this is A plus 999dz and it must be equal to 0. We will take this equation third and equation second and we will write equation third minus d into equation second. So we will get a minus dx plus a minus dy a minus dz and will be equal to 0 or a minus d into x plus y plus z equals 0. From here, we'll get two conditions, either A equals D or X plus Y plus Z equals 0. Now the question, we're given that X plus Y plus Z is equal to 1. So in this case, there'll be no solution. So if A is unequal to D, then in that case, we'll have no solution. Now if A is equal to D, then One upon P is ten D, one upon Q is hundred D, and one upon R is one thousand D. Now we divide second with first, then we get P upon Q equals ten, Q upon R equals ten, and P upon R equals hundred. So if we have any of these cases, then in that case. This equation will have infinitely many solutions and if A is an equal to D, then we'll have no solution. So if P upon R is unequal to 100 and P upon Q is unequal to 10, then in that case, we'll have no solution. So this second and third, they'll be matched with S. So second is going to match with S and third is also going to match with S. That means the correct option is this option B. Now if we consider the case when A equals D, we have two equations. X plus Y plus Z equals 1 and 10X plus 100Y plus 1000Z equals 0. Now if we put X as 0, we we'll get Y plus Z as 1 and y plus 10z as 0. Now if we subtract this, we get z as minus 1 by 9 and y will be 10 by 9. So one of the solution will be 0, 10 by 9 and minus 1 by 9. So it is a solution. And if we put z as 0, we get x plus y equals 1 and x plus 10y equals 0. In this case, value of y is minus 1 by 9, value of x is 10 by 9, and value of z is 0. So in this case, we'll have infinitely many solutions, and two of the solutions will be 10 by 9, minus 1 by 9, and z equals 0. So this first one, it matches with P, Q, R, and T. Now in this, since second and third, they already match with S, 
So this first one, it matches with Q. And this fourth one also is the condition A equals D. It also matches with P, Q, R and T. So it matches with R. So the correct option is this option B.